Yo, what is going on guys? It's XC, and today we're going to be doing the Elite Veneris. Um, should be super easy this week. Uh, we do have to use Quincy, which is not that bad in my opinion. I think Quincy's a fine hero. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, the only problem is that we don't have enough room for super efficient banana farms, sadly. We do have room to place about, I think, seven? No, eight. Eight, I think. Yeah, eight. In the radius of our monkey off list easily i know you can fit i think you can fit like 11 or something but it's it's very difficult you have to place them like all in the center and it just it gets really crowded and i don't like doing that um so i'm gonna just stick to the the easy like eight or nine that we can fit um and then we're gonna do some druid farming as well because i'm sure as you guys saw last week druid farming is insanely op uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're not gonna go as crazy with it as we did last week um, I'm only going to get about 5 or 6 druids this time, uh, but we are still going to do the druid strat. Let's just go ahead and upgrade our banana farm to a 1-0-0. And once we get it to a 1-0-0, we're going to go ahead and save the rest of our money to get Quincy. Because we will lose a couple lives, but it's okay, we have the spikes and the shield, but we don't want to lose too many um, and start breaking into our reserve of lives because we will use that a little bit later. Right, so in this round we can get Quincy, so we're going to go ahead and buy Quincy and we're going to put him right here in this little corner, like so, and he will help us take care of all of these like first 20 to 23 rounds basically, um, are not going to be a problem because we have him, and now we're going to go back to our banana farm and upgrade this guy to a 2 0, zero. All right, so we're gonna go uh, four banana farms that are all gonna be two zero zero. Um, after the third banana farm, we're gonna upgrade our dart monkey to a o two three, um, just to help with defense a little bit. Otherwise, you will lose a few too many lives. Uh, and then we're gonna go back and get more banana farms and start going into our druids. So in round 18, we're going to buy our third mana farm, and we're going to put it kind of up here in the top corner. We're, we're going to put it not too, too close, but in a little bit up, because we want to make sure that we have enough room to plant another banana farm um, down here next to our other, you know, one like right here. And then we also want to put a village right here in the middle as well. So now once we have this banana farm, we're going to upgrade it to a 200 like the others. And then once we are done upgrading this guy to a 200, we are going to start working on upgrading our defense a little bit so we don't lose too many lives. All right, so now we're gonna upgrade our dart monkey to very quick shots. And then we're gonna upgrade this guy's range and we're gonna upgrade him to a crossbow. crossbow. Alright, and this will take care of the majority of the balloons that we and will not have to worry about it until round 28. Or, sorry, not 28. Wait, yeah, 28. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> the leads. Alright, so let's get our other banana farm and we're going to place it as close as we can to this other one and we're going to put it kind of like right here by the track. Oops. 
so. All right, we're gonna upgrade this guy to a 200 as well. And you wanna make sure that you have enough room for a village, kinda like uh, right here in the center area. So like right, right in here. So we will check that in a second once we get enough money. Um, I'm just gonna see if I do have enough room for the village. All right, let's see. Yep, so we have enough room for the village if it's right in the center. So we're not gonna have to worry about that right now. We're gonna buy a, another banana farm and we're gonna put this guy kind of like right here. Close enough to the track. All right, so we wanna make sure we still have enough room for our village, we do. And we're gonna go ahead and buy our alchemist. We're gonna put him on strong. And then we're gonna put a, a druid right here in this little triangle. Which, I'm not going to be able to catch that lead balloon, I don't think, so let's just buy a sniper, because why not? Alright, so we're going to upgrade this to a 200, and now we are going to buy another banana farm, and we're going to put this one up here at the very top, to kind of complete the square. Now we're gonna upgrade this druid to a 041 so that, that way we can um, start generating money with the druid strap. Alright, so we've got our first uh, jungle's bouncy druid, <clears throat> and now we're gonna buy another druid. And you want to get this as pixel perfect as you can. So we're gonna place him um, in this little square in the top left corner, and then we're gonna upgrade him to the following same thing um, in 041. And we're gonna place another, hopefully two more druids in this little square. I'm not sure. Sometimes I can't fit all of them, uh, but we're gonna try and get as many as possible um, in the center here. All right, so we've got our second one. And now we're going to buy another druid and put this guy to the right. All right, and let's do the same thing. And 041. So we're not gonna worry about Lunarius right away. We're gonna keep getting our 041 on our Druid. And now we are going to, let's see, can we place another one? We cannot. Okay, it's fine. So now we're going to get a Boomerang Monkey and we're going to put him right here. And then we're gonna get a Tax Shooter and put the Tax Shooter right below him. Then we're gonna get a Ninja Monkey. We're gonna put the Ninja Monkey on the bottom ledge of the log. And now we're going to upgrade this guy to a Glaive Ricochet with Red Hot Rings. And then we're going to upgrade our Attack Shooter to a Blade of Maelstrom. Alright, so once we have the Blade Maelstrom and the Glaive Ricochet, we are going to start upgrading our Ninja to a 104. Alright, so we have the 104, and now we're going to buy another mana farm, and we're going to put it right here in the very top, and we're going to leave enough room, as you can see, to place another druid right in between the two, or the three farms that are right here. Alright, let's upgrade this guy to a 200, put our ninja on strong, 
And then we want to make sure that we use our Blade Maelstrom ability once the balloons get right here into this little loop. And as you can see, it'll take care of the majority of them, and our Glaive Ricochet will take care of the rest. So now we are going to start upgrading this guy to a 0 or 1, like our other druids. Make sure to use your Blade Maelstrom ability. Alright, so let's get our jungle's bounty. And now we're going to upgrade this guy to a more glaives as Lunarius gets closer. Alright, and now we're going to start buying some more banana farms. So let's buy, let's see, what's our range of these druids? So we'll buy one right here. And we'll upgrade this guy to a 200, like the others. And then we'll buy another one and put it right here. And another one right here. Now we're gonna put a druid right here in this little triangle. And we're gonna upgrade all these guys to two zero zeros. But first, what we wanna do is we want to buy another boomerang monkey and we want to put him right here in this little cubby hole. And we want to upgrade this guy as well to a gla more glaives as well. Otherwise, you might lose a couple lives. And while I don't think you need it, if you time your blade mushrooms correctly, I'd rather be safe than a sorry. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and continue upgrading these guys to 200. And then let's upgrade this druid to a 041. I used my blade mushroom ability a little bit late right there. Um, hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Let's see. Yeah, it wasn't too big of a deal. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna place another banana farm up here at the top. And we're gonna upgrade this guy to a 200 as well. And now all we have to deal with is one more level of Venerius. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we have our Arrow Storm ability, which is our Quincy ability. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this guy to a Sharpshooter just so he takes care of these Camo Balloons so that none slip by our defenses. And now we're going to start upgrading all of these to a Banana Plantation. And I did not buy quite enough defense for the camo blooms. So let's go back and let's buy a village. As you saw, we had plenty of money. We had like 8,000 or something. So let's go ahead and buy a village for these towers here. And let's just get radar scanner like that. All right, and on this last tier of Bunarius, the last skull, we're gonna use our ability, our Quincy ability. And that will take care of almost everything, pretty much everything, super easily. Alright, and now we're going to start upgrading all these banana farms to banana plantations. Alright, let's keep upgrading. And we don't have to worry about Lunarius right now, even though he's like really far down the track. Um, we just want to keep focusing on our economy because we're going to sell one of these guys right here and invest the money. Because our Ninja Monkey, once Lunarius gets closer to about right here, our Ninja Monkey will start ticking him down again. And because he's so low health already, we won't have to worry about anything. It's not a big deal. Alright, so all of our banana farms are, oh, except for this one, let's upgrade this one. Alright, so all of our banana farms are 320, and now that they are all 320, we're going to go ahead and start saving up for our defense for the tier 2 Blunarius.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade one to a banana research facility. We're going to sell our ninja and we're gonna use that money for a second um, banana research facility. And then once we do that, we are going to buy a airplane and that will take care of tier two Planarius. We don't need to sniper anymore. Let's go ahead and sell him. All right, so let's go ahead and buy our airplane. We're gonna put it down here next to our village that we have and we're gonna upgrade the village to jungle drums. And now we're going to upgrade this guy to a operation dart storm for now. We're gonna get sharper darts and we're gonna go for a sky shutter. So now we have enough for our Sky Shredder and just about only a thousand gold. Okay, and now we're going to put our Sky Shredder on a Wing Monkey and he will start taking down Blunarius. As you can see, he does quite a bit of damage. Um, and now we're going to invest in a Alchemist. We're going to put the Alchemist here and we're going to upgrade the Alchemist to a stronger stem with faster throwing. And this will help our plane be able to do more to Blunarius. And now we're going to go for a engineer monkey. I'm gonna put him right here, kind of like at the end of the track. And we're gonna upgrade this guy to a overclock. And we're gonna use this to overclock our airplane to be able to do even more to planarians. So let's go ahead and overclock our airplane. So now we're going to sell our Blade Maelstrom, and we're going to put another attack shooter here, and we're going to upgrade this guy to a attack zone with even faster shooting. Alright, so let's get our attack zone, and now when Blunarius gets close to our attack zone, we're going to use the overclock ability on the attack zone. All right, so I'm gonna keep getting our banana farms to banana research facilities. We're going to overclock our airplane just to make sure that he takes care of these balloons. Couldn't find my cursor. All right, and now we're gonna keep saving up for more banana research facilities. All right, so now we're going to sell our Alchemist. And once Venarius dies, we're going to sell our airplane. We're going to buy another random research facility. All right, so let's sell our airplane. And now we are just going to keep our tax zone as our primary form of defense.
so now we should have 11 um, banana research facilities. So now we are going to sell our village. We're going to replace the village right here. And this time we're only going to get it to a radar scanner with primary training. We're not going to go for the third or the fourth tier upgrade. We're going to buy another banana farm. We're going to put it here and upgrade this guy to a banana research facility as well with Ivo Bananas. And now we are going to save up. Uh, for our defense for the tier 3 of Lunarius. So we're going to put a village up here on top of the log. I'm going to overclock one of my banana farms so it can keep generating us more money. And now we're going to upgrade this village to a homeland defense with jungle drums. And next we're going to put a dartling gun right next to our village. I'm going to go ahead and just lock him to the front and we're not going to use him for right now for two more rounds until we get to Elite Planarius. Next I'm just going to keep overclocking a banana farm so we can keep generating money. Alright so we're going to use the homeland defense when it gets next to our tax zone just to help it take care of round 78. And now we're just gonna keep farming. Gonna overclock the farm again. Oh, I could have put a tree here, I didn't even know that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go for a mad. And the mad is how we are going to take care of Elite Lunarius tier three. So now to clean up the ceramic balloons and the DDTs and all of that, we're going to upgrade our dart monkey to a crossbow master. And then we're going to put another dart monkey right up here on top of the tree stump and range of our village. And we're going to upgrade him to a crossbow master as well. And we're going to use the mad, a little bit of micro, I'm slowing it down here and there because we want to make sure that we use the mad to pop the DDTs into ceramics so that we don't leak any lives. Because now at this point in the game, if you leak one life, you've probably leaked 100 and you lose. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we don't do that.
Alright, so now we're going to buy a glaive ward down here at the bottom of the track. Just because he helps really tick down a lot of Glenarius' HP, considering Glenarius is a Moab class balloon. Um, plus, because this is tier 3, we can go ahead and get some pops for our Boomerang Monkey. So that when we go for our Boomerang Paragon later in the game, this will help quite a bit. Alright, so we're not going to use our abilities on our Mad yet. We want to wait until Glenarius gets down to the last skull, so that whenever we use our abilities, we can make sure that we clean up the DTs as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use my abilities now. That Glenarius is ticking down, and as you can see, we're going to use this to just clean up all these DTs and the bad as well. Alright, so once we have done that, I'm going to lock my mad to the front of the track. We are going to sell our druids that are right here. And where we have room for the village, we're going to place our village back. And now we are going to upgrade this guy to a monkey city with bigger radius. And whenever our overclock is off cooldown, we're going to overclock this guy and eat all of our farms. Not all of them, but a few of them. Alright, so Monkeyopolis, and now we are going to buy another banana farm, and we're going to upgrade this guy to a tier 5, and now we are going to just put all of our banana farms back where they were. Alright, so now once we have all of these farms like this, uh, we're going to buy a druid, we're going to put him right here next to our village, we're going to upgrade this guy all the way to a 2, or a 052, to Spear of the Forest, and this is just to help with our defense for a little while, and now we're going to sell our attack zone, sell this village down here, we're going to keep overclocking our banana central, and now we are just saving up for a dark paragon. So let's go ahead and place our other two dart monkeys. We're gonna place one to a ultra juggernaut and we're gonna place the other one to a plasma monkey fan club. Alright, so we're going to upgrade this guy to a Plasma Master. Should be about 20, oh it's 34, okay pretty good. Alright, and we're going to use the Destroy Vine ability just to do a little bit more damage to Blenarius. And now we don't have to worry about a thing because our Paragon will pretty much take out all of Blenarius' HP. And now we are just going to keep farming.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready for our VTSG. So I'm gonna place two Super Monkey Sun here. We're gonna upgrade one to a Legend of the Night. And then we're gonna upgrade our other one into a anti Bloom. We're gonna keep overclocking our Banana Central and now we're gonna buy a Ultra Boost. And that is tier 4. And now we're just going to keep ultra boosting our banana central to keep generating as much money as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and start preparing as well for the boomerang paragon. So we're going to go ahead and get a perma charge with glaives. And then we're also going to get a moab domination with glaives. And this will start helping them kind of like rack up pops, you know. So we have basically seven rounds to prepare instead of nine because we want to make sure that we start buying our super monkey um, as early as possible. So we don't have quite nine rounds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy my super monkey and I'm going to put him right here. And I'm going to upgrade this guy to super range and epic range. And then we're gonna go ahead and upgrade him to a sun avatar. So now he is going to sacrifice this uh, village and we don't want that as so we're going to sell the village. So right now he sacrifices the mad which is perfectly fine. And then we're also going to buy a bomb tower and upgrade it to bloom crush and then we're going to buy a perma brew as well. And then we're going to go ahead and sacrifice this guy, make him a sun temple. Right. And now that he's a Sun Temple, we're going to get him ready for the VTSG upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and get a Homeland Defense. We're going to get a, another Perma Brew. We're going to get a Mad. And we're going to buy another Bloom Crush. Alright, so once we have that, we are just going to save for our VTSG. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sell all these banana farms right here. We're going to upgrade this to a Glaive Dominus. Actually, let's upgrade this guy to a Glaive Dominus. And once we do that, we're gonna overclock our Mana Central one more time. And now we are going to sell all of our farms. We're going to upgrade to a true sun god. And this will turn him into a vengeful true sun god. Now we're going to buy a sniper and put it up here on top of the log. We're going to upgrade him to a cripple moab with fast firing. And now we're going to buy a ice monkey, put him on super, uh, super brittle. And now we are just going to buy support for our VTSG. So let's buy a Perma Brew. Let's buy a Homeland Defense. Let's start ultra boosting our VTSG. Let's buy a Master Bomber. And our Strong. And now we are going to buy a Mad. And last but not least, a blue storm. All right, and this will pretty much take care of Blenaris.
So this is pretty much how I beat Illuminaires. Um, super simple. Uh, you want to make sure that I wasn't doing it super effectively. Um, you want to make sure that you are following Glunarius with your uh, oops, wrong tower. There we go. With your Super Brittle, because Super Brittle is pretty much the key to beating this guy. Um, it increases all the damage that every one of your towers attacking him do, and it is just overall extremely helpful. So there you have it, that is Elite Blenarius Tier 5. Um, I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. Um, I plan next week to hopefully get this video out a little bit sooner for you guys. Um, I know I got normal Blenarius out earlier today, uh, but I hope to get Elite Blenarius out even earlier next week. Um, hopefully at the beginning of the day, maybe uh, maybe 6 or 7 hours after Blenarius comes out. Uh, provided you know it's not too difficult and I can figure it out for you guys, um, that is the goal. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and comment down below if you want to see any other kind of content. Um, I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day.